Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to another WWE Mattel action figure video. In this video, we're going to take a look at tag teams and honestly, this is a very difficult video to make because there have been so many tag teams. We are talking hundreds so getting them all into one video is impossible. Uh, and then I was trying to figure out how would you break them up? Would you do it by era? And it just got very, very messy. So what I've decided to do is try and find what I think are the best looking tag team figures uh, and put them into this video. I totally, easily could have missed some really great teams. Easily. But... Uh, we can always do a part two. Uh, it's just, it's a nightmare. There's been so many teams. Even teams that you don't really think of as teams. Uh, like Alistair Black and Ricochet at the moment. Uh, we're sure to get a Ricochet figure this year. Um, and so, there's a team. They're teaming right now. They're actually going to have a match for the Raw Tag Team Championships at Fastlane. So, this is what I'm saying. There's so many teams. Uh, I've tried to find what I think are the top 30 best looking figures. Um, so with that being said, uh, NWO, who are more of a faction. I always saw them as more of a faction than a tag team. Uh, they don't feature, uh, but there are some great NWO figures. Uh, you can get like the Outsiders. Uh, I love these figures. This is basically the NWO just before it was the NWO. Uh, you get Kevin Nash from Elite Series 16, Scott Hall from Elite Series 51, uh, and you've got the Outsiders. As well as that, you could get Money Incorporated. Uh, so you need the IRS Elite figure uh, and Million Dollar Man from the Hall of Fame series. Uh, we could go on about teams that haven't quite made the list. But let's start with the team that have. Uh, and here you can see number 30, the Wild Samoans. This is a Hall of Fame pack. Uh, and I think it looks really, really good. Can't believe that we actually got the Wild Samoans tag team. They were a massive team. Um, but they haven't been mentioned for a long, long time. So very cool that Mattel actually found a way to get this tag team out to market. Next up, the Rockers. This might be the pack I want the most. Uh, I've been saying this for years, but I've never found it cheaper than like £80 here in the UK. Uh, and in fact, it's probably even more expensive than that these days. Uh, you're going right the way back to that Legend series. This is the only Marty Jannetty figure that they ever released. They have made another Shawn Michaels in Rockers attire, but... He came out on his own, uh, which was really weird. Uh, so, yes, this pack is highly, highly desirable. Next, the Hype Bros. Hype Bros Battle Pack. I really rated this battle pack. I thought both the Zack Ryder and the Mojo Rowley figures both looked absolutely awesome. I thought they did a great job, especially with the face scans. Nice, colourful ring attire. Uh, I just thought that was a really great set. Uh, next, we've got Breezango. Uh, this is obviously Tyler Breeze and Fandango Elite Series 61. Uh, come with the shirts, come with the hats. Uh, you get loads of accessories, actually. You even get Tyler Breeze's selfie stick um, and Breezango. I know they didn't have loads of matches, um, but I honestly thought they were a really fun team. Loved the fashion files that they did. The little backstage segments. Uh, next, we've got the Bushwhackers, an absolutely iconic team. Um, and this is a Legends 2-pack in their probably most iconic ring attire. It's the black and grey uh, Bushwhacking ring attire. You can also get a battle pack uh, that's in a lesser known ring attire. But I think the Legends 2-pack is probably better. Then we've got Crime Time. This is a tag team that quite a few people might not have heard of. They weren't around for that long. Um, and it's Shad and JTG. And the reason that these guys make the list isn't because they're a classic 
uh, well-remembered tag team. It's because the figures were awesome, especially that JTG. One of the best early elite figures. Um, great detail in those figures. Uh, a very, very cool team. Next, Enzo, Big Cass. Uh, obviously, it didn't end well for these two. Both of them getting fired by WWE at different times. They didn't even get fired at the same time. They got fired for different reasons at different times. Um, but down in NXT, they were a massive team. They were so popular. Uh, and these figures are kind of more based on their NXT look. So uh, I've gone with Elite Series 49. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Such a shame that they didn't stay a team and stay in WWE. Uh, just kind of felt like the team was okay, like it was still working, but just needed to make a few little tweaks. Like, Enzo did start to become a little bit annoying. So, uh, but I'm sure they could have fixed that. Next up, we've got the Hardy Boys. Uh, I've gone with the Epic Moments pack. I do have a very soft spot, though, for the WWE Shop exclusive pack um, because that did then become available in FYE, which is where I got it from. But I love the fact that it came out in, uh, I want to say 2018, but they made it look like it was from 2010 or 2011. They used old style packaging. Uh, I really, really appreciated that. Uh, so, and also the figures were pretty cool. But I just think the Epic Moments pack is just that next level up. Uh, you get some massive ladders. I believe it's based on their WrestleMania comeback uh, when they won the Raw Tag Team Championships. Uh, it's a great set. Really hard to find. I don't think we actually got it here in the UK at all. Next up, Ultimate Maniacs. Uh, Elite Series 44 and Defining Moments. You're going to need that 44 Macho Man. And the defining moments, Ultimate Warrior. Again, not a classic team. I think they're still well remembered, but they weren't together for very long. Uh, and actually, their big match at Survivor Series 92 was completely changed because Ultimate Warrior was gone from WWE. Uh, so it all fell apart, but we did get these figures um, and they look awesome. As we said, one of them, the Ultimate Warrior one, is a defining moment. So super detailed. Um, and yeah, just very, very cool that you can put these two side by side on your shelf. Next, I wasn't sure whether to include these or not, but I've gone with the Wyatt family. Uh, they did have some high profile tag matches. Uh, so I've gone with Braun Strowman from Elite 44. That Strowman from his Wyatt family look. Uh, I've gone with Eric Rowan from Elite 29. Luke Harper from Elite 29. And Bray Wyatt from Elite 28. Next, I've gone with The Revival. Uh, and I've gone with the NXT TakeOver Elites. Um, I'm still split on whether these are their best figures or not. I feel like the ring attire is a little bit bland. Uh, you can actually get a battle pack that's got brighter ring attire but it doesn't have the chest hair uh, detail like it does here for dash so just you know either either whatever you can get your hands on the revival uh, arguably the best tag team in wwe right now next up degeneration x uh, i've gone with elite series seven because in elite series seven you did get a triple h a Shawn michaels and a hornswoggle. Uh, obviously, Triple H, Shawn Michaels team together on a regular basis. Uh, so it makes sense to go with those two. Most recently, we saw them team last year at Crown Jewel. Uh, so very, very cool. Uh, I can tell you, Brothers of Destruction don't make this list. Uh, they, they could, but um, I, I just see The Undertaker and Kane more as single stars than I do as a tag team. But that's who... DX was facing uh, at Crown Jewel. So there's there's a free tag team for you, uh, Undertaker and Kane. Next up, we've got DIY. Uh, this is the Hall of Champions DIY. They're elite figures. They come with DIY tops. You get tag team titles, NXT tag team titles. Uh, very, very cool. And obviously, we saw them teaming 
uh, recently when they got called up to Raw and SmackDown. Sadly, Tommaso Ciampa at the time of recording this is out for 6 to 12 months. So if you want to see DIY, I'm afraid the figures are the only way you're going to be seeing them at the moment. Number 17, we've got Sanity. Uh, Sanity, this is an actual team. You might have forgotten about them because we rarely see them. Uh, but you can see we've got Eric Young from Elite 65, Alexander Wolf from Elite 66, and Killian Dane from the NXT TakeOver Series 4. Next, we've got Harlem Heat, probably the biggest tag team in WCW. Uh, this is from Elite Series 46, uh, and they look absolutely awesome. Loads of accessories uh, with these as well. Uh, obviously, Stevie Ray, uh, Booker T, just really, really cool set. Next, we've got Gold Dust and Stardust. Uh, now, I kind of see these more as two individual stars, but... The Stardust does actually come with two tag titles, and that's because Gold Dust and Stardust were tag team champions together. Uh, so these two figures from Elite 36 complement each other. They go with each other. Next, we've got the Shield, and it's hard to know what to recommend here. I really like the Fan Central Kmart pack. Uh, it's like a triple pack, a basics triple pack. Um, I just think it looks cool. I just think it looks awesome. Uh, it's obviously part of their original run as well. Uh, obviously, there was an epic moment set, but that was based on their reunion. I kind of feel like their first run was the iconic run. So uh, you could get that Kmart pack. Or I believe there was a then, now, forever pack as well. Um, that, I think, is also based on their first run. So there's plenty of S.H.I.E.L.D. figures to go for. And everyone needs the S.H.I.E.L.D. in their collection. Next up, New Age Outlaws. I could have included these as part of DX, but they were a tag team in their own right. Uh, obviously, they just made figures of these guys in the Hall of Champions series. So you can get New Age Outlaws. Look at that. Such a great classic Attitude Era team. Uh, very, very cool. Next, the Heart Foundation. And I love the Elites for the Heart Foundation. But I'm actually going with the Battle Pack. I'm going with the Battle Pack that has them in blue attire. Um, I just love this because, again, it feels real retro. Uh, it kind of feels like real mid-80s kind of ring attire. And I love any figures that come from the 1980s. Uh, just because I don't expect them. I don't expect Mattel to be making 1980s superstars. Of course, maybe a, a Macho Man or a Ric Flair or a Hulk Hogan. But the Heart Foundation in a tire that isn't pink. Uh, you can't expect that. Next up, American Alpha. One of the all-time best NXT tag teams. Uh, and this is Elite 59. This is when American Alpha won those SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. It reminds me, actually, of the Ascension. I'm going to take this opportunity to mention the Ascension uh, because I really love their Elite figures as well. I believe it was Elite Series 47B, uh, and they came with, like, the shoulder pads and everything. Uh, I'm going to put them in this list, actually. Uh, I'm going to say that the Ascension are 10 points. Five on my list. <laughs> Number 10, we've got the Natural Disasters. These were hard to get. They were only part of the Then, Now, Forever series. You did get old school world tag team titles with them. Uh, obviously, it's Earthquake and Typhoon. Really, really cool. Really great figures. Highly recommend them. Next, you've got maybe the most decorated tag team of all time, the Dudley Boys. Uh, these are Elite figures from Elite Series 45, uh, and honestly, I, I think they've still won more championships than anyone else. Uh, so, very, very cool. Highly, highly recommend those, because they come with not only great detail, but loads of accessories as well. Really getting down to the great figures now. Gallows and Anderson, Elite 56. 
Uh, that Gallows in particular is one of the all-time best elite figures. Uh, if I was to do a top 50 all-time best figures, be it basics, elites, battle packs, defining moments, this Gallows would make the list. It's absolutely stunning. The Anderson is really strong as well. Uh, sadly, there's rumours that they're going to be leaving in September uh, because they're not happy with how they're being used. Can't say I blame them because they're not really ever used. Uh, but still, we got some great figures. Next up, the Usos. Uh, I could have gone with the recent Elite figures because I think they look awesome. Big improvement on the previous Elite figures. I'm actually going with a Battle Pack. I'm going with Battle Pack 52. I just think that for the price, you're getting two figures. They've got the Day One-ish uh, shirts on. It just, they look awesome. This is a great Battle Pack. This is one of the all-time great Battle Packs. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, next up, maybe my favourite ever tag team, Legion of Doom. Uh, I've gone with Elite Series 30, Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal with the red spikes. Looks absolutely awesome. The red shoulder pads on there. Uh, you can also get them in blue. They made a battle pack where they were in blue. You can also get them in black with the Road Warriors attire. Um, but they're quite hard to find because they were out like when Mattel first started making WWE figures. Uh, top five now, we got Demolition, Axe, Smash and Crush. Uh, obviously Crush would be released in the core Elite line, but Axe and Smash were both uh, Legends figures. Uh, these look so cool on a shelf next to each other. Demolition with those entrance masks. The face paint, so much detail there. They look absolutely awesome. Next up, Los Matadores. I've got a soft spot for this team. I love the colognes. I just feel like they've been given bad gimmick after bad gimmick after bad gimmick. But here they are as Matadors, Los Matadores. These figures are great, though, because you get loads of accessories. Obviously, highly detailed. Both of them are elites. It's great figures. They are Elite Series 35. Number three, we've got the New Day. Uh, I've gone with the Bootios pack because you get a Bootios pack. Uh, a Bootios box inside are the figures. Um, you get the trombone. You get unicorn horns. This is their WrestleMania attire. Uh, very, very cool. I do love, I do rate these New Day figures. And in fact, I did a whole video on Kofi Kingston uh, that had a lot of New Day figures in it. I will put a link on screen to that video. Number two, the Nasty Boys. The Nasty Boys from Elite Series 42. Uh, I think these figures look awesome. Mainly the jackets, uh, the back of the jackets look crazy good. The front of the vests as well. There's so much detail here. Uh, one of the most animated uh, tag teams ever. Just, just, this is my youth. The Nasty Boys are just one of the teams I grew up watching. So, so awesome that we get them as figures and that they turned out this good. But that brings us to number one, the Undisputed Era. The Undisputed Era, the Epic Moments Pack. This is absolutely incredible. Three. First time to line figures, all of them absolutely brilliant. The face scans, they absolutely nailed them. You get those Undisputed Era t-shirts. This, it's just an essential pack. It's just an absolutely essential pack. You know when the Undisputed Era get called up to the main roster, they are dominating. They are going to run the show. They are going to be the new shield uh, so keep an eye out for this pack if you don't have it already. But that is actually not our final tag team because I've included a number zero just to catch you out. And it is the Authors of Pain. The Authors of Pain. This could be the best tag team that Mattel have ever made. The face scans on these are incredible. Love the fact they come with those entrance masks. You get belts as well. They're big figures. They're imposing. Authors of Pain obviously aren't around at the moment due to injury. But 
you know they are going to dominate. They are a team that are here to stay. They really are an impressive team. Uh, so I think that makes these very, very important figures because I, I just really feel like they're going to be around for a while. And these are their first elite figures. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I, I could have stayed and spoke about more teams. I could have spoke about the board villains or Edge and Christian. Uh, there's been some great Edge and Christian figures, but I just can't fit them in. I just can't fit them in. <laughs> I thought maybe we'll have to do part two. Um, let me know if I missed anything else uh, below. I know I have. There's there's hundreds, there's hundreds of tag teams, hundreds of different combinations. Um, so, yeah, I think we will have to do part two. Awesome, guys, though. I hope you enjoyed the video still. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you did, let me know by smashing that like. It makes a massive difference. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe as well. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.